At a time when housing is at such a, a challenging point, I think it's really important that we have things like the Housing Excellence Awards that demonstrate that in spite of the challenges, organisations are able to continue to expand services and deliver much needed homes. Housing has never been at a more difficult time. It's estimated we've probably lost over 350,000 social homes by 2020. That will be a disaster for the people we're trying to help. And it's good to see in the awards so many people trying to do so many different things to help those in the greatest need. I think it's imperative, particularly with the Housing Excellence Awards, that we look at people who are looking to the future and how we're going to address the future, which is very challenging, rather than looking backwards and trying to defend the past. Judging the awards this year has been very, very interesting. There's been a lot of very, very good submissions at a time when the housing sector is going through great change. There's a real need for people to identify and build on the innovation that some of the companies are actually demonstrating at this time when commerciality is very, very important. Housing organisations across this country have made nominations from the very largest to some of the smallest. And as judges, we've taken immense care to make sure that the best are recognised. And I think we'll see on the night many organisations seeing some of the the most imaginative work across this country recognised and rewarded and I would thank everybody for their applications and it's important in this day and age that this sector is recognising its strength and the difference it makes in its communities. I'm really excited to be judging the awards this year um, and I'm really impressed with the um, breadth of entries that have come from all over the UK and Scotland and Ireland and I think it's really exciting that we're seeing things that we might not necessarily see if we didn't have these awards.